Russian President Vladimir Putin seemed quite amused Monday when a group of topless women staged a protest against him during an international trade fair in Hanover, Germany. Putin, who came to Hanover to open the fair, gave the thumbs up for a topless protester with an anti-Putin slogan written on her back before she was quickly stopped by Putin's security guards. And in the press conference following Hanover's fair trade tour, Putin admitted he liked it. The Telegraph reports on the Russian president's salty humor. I didn't make out whether they were blondes, chestnut-haired, or brunettes. If someone wants to debate political questions, then it's better to do it clothed rather than getting undressed. You should undress in other places, such as on nudist speeches. Russia also asked Germany to punish the topless protesters, which are part of the Ukrainian women's rights group Femin. They are known for their topless demonstrations and have opposed Russia's arrest of punk band Pussy Riot in 2012. On his Facebook page, the group labeled the protest a hero anti-dictorial attack of Putin. Femin has protested actions from Putin before, and it seemed like German Chancellor Angela Merkel almost defended their action Monday. The Wall Street Journal reports she raised concerns about the democratic stage in Russia. Ms. Merkel reproached Mr. Putin publicly for the treatment of German non-governmental organizations operating in Russia once in a speech before Germany's industrial elite on Sunday and again at a news conference on Monday. Merkel criticized Russia after Putin agreed on a broad talk during the press conference. Euronews has more on Merkel's very direct critiques, a first by a Western leader. An active society needs freedom for the press and non-governmental organizations, as well as confident people who can share their own opinions, she said. But a Russia expert with the German Council on Foreign Relations told the New York Times it's time for Germany to change its attitude towards Russia. The discussions on Monday reflected a clear agreement to disagree on Cyprus, Syria, the non-governmental organizations and other matters. The experts said that indicated a need for a new approach. The German government's policies have failed. I see a change in the rhetoric, but not in the policies of Germans. After visiting Germany, Putin traveled to the Netherlands, where even more protesters awaited his arrival. More than a thousand gay activists protested against a Russian bill opposing gay public events. The BBC reports he was also greeted by human rights group Amnesty International, which put up fake police tape calling the area a human rights free zone. There too, Putin's sense of humor was typical. He joked at a press conference, thank God the gays didn't strip naked here. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.